Oh, hey, welcome back to my bathroom and, you know, Rob's Toilet Talks. Today is a sad day in American history. A great company who has been open for over 80 years decided today to close its doors forever. Uh, I don't know if you've been paying attention to the news or not, and you probably have heard this, but Hostess, the maker of Twinkies, yeah, Twinkies, closed their doors today. Uh, or are in the process of closing their doors today. All thanks to the Bakery, Confectionery, Tobacco Workers, and Grain Millers International Union. Yeah, that's right. On November 9th of this year, uh, BCTGM went on strike at bakeries operated by Hostess Brands to protest, uh, to, to protest the contract uh, changes forced upon him by on its members at a bankruptcy court, okay? Hostess was going bankrupt because they couldn't afford to pay the wages and the benefits anymore. Oh, damn, economies suck. On November 16th, uh, after warning the union that it would be unable to operate unless employees return to work, let's see, you don't come to work, we can't do our, we can't bake our goods and we're not getting income and we're going to have to close. Hostess Brands filed a motion to change its bankruptcy filing from one, uh, from one of reorganization to one of liquidation and basically shutting down the company. Liquida liquidation is going to result in over 18,500 jobs being lost. Approximately six. 6,500 of those jobs were members of the Bakery Confection, Tobacco Workers, and Grain Millers International Union. So, you know, I did what any good American would do today. I decided to go to the store. I bought some Wonder Bread, uh, also made by Hostess. I bought a, bought a box of Twinkies. I bought a box of cupcakes. My youngest daughter really likes the cupcakes. Why? Because these are the last ones they will ever get to have that were made by Hostess. Yes, they're going to sell off all their wonder, wonderful products to other companies that will, that may or may not decide to continue the brand name. Yeah, I don't think I really want a Betty Crocker Twinkie. No. More than likely, some Chinese company will come in and buy the rights, and they will be made all in China, which will then become even worse for you than they already are, thanks to all the additives and ingredients in the uh, Twinkies and whatnot and so forth. But you know, hell, it's an Ameri it was an American institution. Over four generations have enjoyed Hostess Twinkies. That's right, four generations. Back in the 1950s when uh, Twinkies was introduced to the public, it was almost an instant sensation. And one of the unique things about the Twinkie was that when they were made, they tasted the same whether you were in Los Angeles or New York, across the country. One of the reasons they use a lot of preservatives, a lot of chemicals. Uh, wonder Bread came out in the 50s too, and it actually was a Wonder Bread. I was talking to my father earlier today, and he said, you know, when Wonder Bread came out, it was one of the first breads, nationally marketed breads, sandwich breads, that you could get, you could make the same sandwich in LA and New York and they would taste the same. The bread would taste the same. It was, boom, it was market recognition, everything, Wonder Bread, wow. I'll tell you, I grew up with Wonder Bread. It was expensive, but it tasted good. Kids ate it, kids still eat it. So I brought, I brought, bought the, the Wonder Bread today so you know my children can experience at least one last peanut butter and jelly sandwich made from Wonder Bread or bologna sandwich or whatever sandwich we decide to make. We also bought a box of Twinkies. You know, they're, they're never going to be here again. They're gone. Goodbye. Adios. See you later. Bye-bye. You know what really irritates me though is a few people, 6,500 
employees determine the fate for 18,500 employees and for 315 million Americans who enjoyed Hostess products. Well, not everybody liked them, but everybody's heard of it, pretty much. I mean, really, you'd have to be pretty damn isolated have not to heard about a Twinkie before. Really, that's worldwide recognition, worldwide product recognition. I just don't understand it. You know, now, instead of these employees and employees, you know, paying paying taxes and, and whatnot, so forth, they're going to be sponging off the government for a while, while in this wonderful recession that we're having, market depression, they're going to be on unemployment, food stamps, welfare, and they're going to be living off our dime, other taxpayers' dimes, for a good long while. Hopefully they can find a job right away. Hopefully they can. And let's, let's be honest, if you're over 45, good goddamn luck. If I were the 18,500 employees of Hostess, I'd be pulling together all the money we can to buy the company. And then kick the unions out because that union just destroyed a national icon. Probably wondering why I'm doing this as a toilet talk. Well, you know, this is a bunch of shit, actually. When a union comes in and demands something that the company can't pay and then says, you will or you'll shut down, and they say, okay, we're going to shut down, and everybody loses, everybody loses. Not just the 18,500 people or over that, but everyone in the nation. We are a poor nation today because Hostess is gone. Why? That's one less product that's going to be able to be sold on store shelves. That's one, that's one less dollar that will be spent someplace. Because I needed a sugar fix. Or I just, you know, Twinkies, conven convenience store Twinkies are an impulse buy. You see that rack of hostess? Oh, I want a pie. I want a tin. I know. It's an impulse buy. They make a lot of money on that. Oh, I just want a little snack. Here we go. I'm kind of hungry. I want that Twinkie. Yeah, it wasn't good for you, but oh, they were so good. They were good for the soul. Not necessarily the body, but they were good for the soul. They made you feel good. They made you, they made your kids smile. My daughter was really upset. My older daughter was really upset that there'll be no more Hostess pies. She liked the apple-filled pieces of crap and you know that last forever. She loved those. So, Dad, can we have one of those, please? Every now and again, I'd break down and buy her one or two. Not anymore. So where are we going with this? What are we, what are we going to do with the future? Well, you know, we really need to start regulating our unions more. I don't, I don't know. They need to go away. They served a purpose. They served a, a big purpose in the past. But now it just seems there are thugs that want more and more and more and want to put out less and less and less. When you join a company, you don't join a company just for a paycheck. You join the company to make the company better so you can continue getting a paycheck. It's a trade. It's a trade the employer makes with the, with the employee. I will give you money if you come in and do your dead level best and help me grow my business. It seems these union workers were just in it for the paycheck. They weren't in it to help the company continue to grow or continue to be in business until they could grow again. Yes, they were in bankruptcy. They've been in bankruptcy, what, three times over the last 10 years? Betches because the unions have demanded more and more and more and more and more until it broke the back of the company. Business owners aren't in the business for giving away their money. They're in the business to grow their business and make more money. When they make a trade with you, you come in, you do your job, 
you get paid, you come in, and the cycle goes. You do your best. You do your best for the company. It's called loyalty. It's something that Americans are, well, sa any more sadly lacking. It's just indicative of the entire national problem. You know, we are in a, as a nation, we are fiscally bankrupt. We've got s over 16 trillion. I, <laughs> I wonder how much 16 trillion Twinkies would look like. I'm not going to find out anymore. Twinkies are gone! But $16 trillion in debt. And continually spiral, spiral faster. The federal government is, is considering more bailouts. Who are you going to bail out? We're all broke. You going to bail yourself out? We are morally bankrupt as a nation. You don't believe me? Look at what. Look at Benghazi. When we leave four people behind to die brutally at the hands of terrorists, we're pretty morally bankrupt. We're also spiritually bankrupt. Just look at the uh, National Democratic Committee's platform this year. Yeah, I won't. I don't care what you believe. But I'm, you know, I'm I'm, I'm of the firm belief that uh, Romney was right about GM needing a managed bankruptcy. Well, you know what? It's probably time America has a managed bankruptcy as well. It's time to call an account that we are, in fact, broke in the areas of fiscal, money, morality, and spirituality. It's time, it's time we balance our books. It's time we get even. It's time for a reset. Okay? That, yeah, that's going to mean a lot of hard times for a lot of people, including me. But the rate we're going, we're going to look like Greece in a while. I don't particularly want violence in the streets. That would be a bad thing. I don't particularly want uh, want to look like Italy or France. You know, they're they're talking about raising raising taxes on the two percent. Who the hell are the two percent? Well, those are the people who own Hostess Twinkies who are now out of business because they couldn't give anymore. They're broke. They just could not give anymore. Now all those employees get zero. Big fat goose egg. Maybe someday we'll have learned a lesson. Maybe someday that maybe someday somebody will buy up all the hostess stuff and, and open hostess again. And maybe someday the tooth fair will come and give me new teeth. I don't know. Anyway, time for the paperwork. Have a great day and, you know, if you can, if you can still find them on the shelves, go buy yourself a box of Twinkies. Enjoy one last Twinkie before they're gone forever.